excited about the uh, the women's uh, race this year. Uh, the season has gone exceptionally well. Um, we've had some of the best performances we've ever had in uh, school history happen this year. We've got a, a really strong contingent of freshmen that have come in and uh, really elevated the standard of uh, performance uh, for our women's cross country team. Uh, our finishes in uh, some of the earlier meets, obviously our wins early in the season at Vassar, uh, women and the men uh, overall first place finishes were a good indication that we were moving forward in, in the right direction. Um, the women's performance at the uh, RPI Invitational Saratoga, uh, which led us to our first uh, regional recognition as a, a top ten regional team, I thought, you know, again, was a great indication of, you know, the strength of our, our women's team this particular season. Um, I feel really confident about the SUNYAC meet because we've been we've been very consistent. We haven't had uh, races where uh, you know you look at and go, wow, that was an anomaly. It's you know we've been performing at a fairly consistent level throughout the the year. Some of our athletes, you know, occasionally will have a hiccup here and there, but you know we have more depth than we've had in the past. So the women uh, look you know, stronger one through seven. In the past we've had, you know, strong runners one through three, but not necessarily four, five, six. Uh, and this year I, I feel pretty confident that one through seven is fairly strong, so, uh, or relatively close together and compact. So um, if, if we were to have a, an upset somewhere within the, the, the core group, we have, I think, the depth to pick up uh, a, uh, somebody that might not have a great day. Uh, we've been to the SUNYAC course uh, at Oneonta to, to review it uh, earlier in the season and the, and the girls really felt comfortable with the course. So uh, I think the familiarity of having been there, seen it, um, and having had some experience racing against some of the conference schools that we were running against this year uh, has been very helpful. It just, it just uh, adds and bolsters their confidence knowing that uh, you know they've, they've beaten everybody except uh, uh, Geneseo and uh, and uh, you know we, we didn't really race only on to the first time we were there but you know having you know, you know having displaced uh, Fredonia, Oswego, Brockport uh, pretty consistently throughout the year along with uh, I mean we don't we haven't really raced Potsdam or Buffalo State but they're um, not so much uh, in the mix for this year's uh, conference uh, race I, you know, I feel good about it. I think it's going to be a, a fight for, uh, you know, the top uh, two, three, four slots. I mean, Geneseo is very strong. They're incredibly deep. They're, you know, a, a perennial powerhouse. I think it's going to be very tough for any of the teams in the conference to, to challenge them this year. But I think the, the race is really going to be four, two, three, and four. The men's team, you know, it's exciting. The men's team, uh, you know, from where we were last year to where we are this year, it's just a testament to the men that we have and their commitment and dedication over the past year. And the guys have just really bought into, you know, what, you know, we've been preaching here for the last, you know, seven years. And uh, the guys have really made a commitment to their running. And uh, again, this year's competitions have been a reflection of those performances. Uh, certainly the addition of Gallo Vasquez, who is clearly one of the top freshmen in the conference, uh, probably in the region as well. Uh, his, his ability and his performances have made a big difference. But, you know, Mike Scher and Rob Gorski and Dave Lucas's recommitment to the sport, uh, along with uh, Josh Greenberg, who's starting to look really strong, uh, as he has in the past. Uh, you know, he comes on really strong at the end of the season. The team has coalesced into a real unit, and um, you know now we're again we're in a position where we're contending for a, you know uh, probably a three or four three or four slot. I definitely feel like we you know we, we have a pretty solid uh, lock on the fifth slot if you know all everything goes as planned. But uh, I think we can uh, give uh, you know Oneonta and uh, even Fredonia a run for their money at the conference meet. So uh, again, the guys have had a great year uh, up to this point, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing them finish off you know, over the next two meets, obviously the conference meet, but uh, also at the regional meet. I think they have a really good chance of finishing in the top 10, and we were 21st in the region last year. So 
um, you know, we've seen a real significant improvement. So, yeah, I'm very excited about boats races.